ministerial nomination. Reconsider Aero 5, Sanusi begs Tinubu. Can you imagine what is Sanusi's business in Aero 5's condition here? Yeah? Why are they begging for Aero 5? Did Aero 5 send them to beg for him? Or oh, they are just begging just to have uh, Aero 5 engaged again? Why didn't Sanusi himself go for presidency on that? I mean, uh, go for ministerial role on that Tinubu? Yeah? Or can't he do something again? Hmm? I don't know why uh, this not town people say. Why are you begging for Erufai? Erufai has moved on, singing his reggae Bob Mali. Eh? And you yeah, want to bring a reggae musician back again to government? No, now, nah, let him go his own way. Hmm? He has been rejected by Nigerians, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Let him go. All right, his past, he has gotten the worst past. I'm telling you, that means for him to be haunted like this and dropped off, it means that his past is actually very bad. There's a lot about him that Nigerians should not condone. And one of them is his religious by God. He is a jihadist. He is, he, is, he is a patron to the bandits in the north. And with all the statements he has made that threatens the national cohesion of all the tribes in Nigeria, then he's not fit to be... A leader in the political space. In a clear signal that the ministerial ambition of former governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasser Erufai, is yet to be laid to rest, the dethroned Emir of Kano Al Haji Muhammadu Sanusi II last Thursday pleaded with President Bola Tinubu to reconsider the resubmission of the name of the former governor to the, to the Senate for ministerial confirmation. The question is, why is Anusi begging for somebody who has a very tinted record to come back to power? Uh, this is, so what, he's disqualified, he's disqualified. So should they bend the law, bend the process and bend everything because of Erufai? Is that how Nigeria, is that how Nigeria want to thrive as a nation? Hmm? When you see that something is bad and you want to condone it, it doesn't make sense. What, I don't understand what Anusi is trying to do here. Okay, a top source in the presidency disclosed that the former emir profusely pleaded with the president to save Erufai from public shame and ridicule following his rejection as minister by the upper chamber of the National Assembly. According to the source, who is privy to what transpired in the meeting, the former monarch reminded Tinubu to disregard the poly deploy by certain elements in the presidency that are opposed to the confirmation of Aero 5. Sanusi pointed clear, uh, accused, or pointedly accused the National Security Advisor, Malam Nuhu Ribadu, among others, of blocking the ministerial ambition of his friend on account of security reports and petitions. The president, according to the source, expressed a surprise at a plea from the dethroned emir over Aero 5, who had told him president that he, Erufai, was no longer interested in the ministerial uh, position. He is begging and pulling all strings to be reconsidered for ministerial confirmation as Erufai is exerting pressure on Sanusi to facilitate the submission of his name. Exactly. So the means that is not to be trusted to. He said he's no longer interested. He said he's too big to have a godfather. He said he's going to Netherlands to continue a PhD program. Eh? So why is he and then he went to Beirut in Lebanon to, you know, to sing Bomali from there. Okay. So I don't understand. I don't understand. He is begging and pulling on string to be reconsidered for ministerial confirmation as Erufai is exerting pressure uh, on Sanusi to facilitate the submission of his name. And so that's what I'm saying. Why is he pulling on string? Why is he, uh, you know, pulling to be reconsidered. I thought he said he's no longer interested. That was what he said. The former governor can't just imagine life outside the corridor of power, okay? To show how dejected he felt after rejection by the Senate, he fled the country and even refused to attend his son's wedding that took place in Kaduna less than 24 hours after his ministerial dream went up in flames, the sources added. Sanusi explained to Tinubu that the former governor's insistence to be removed from further ministerial consideration was hinged 
on his frustration and public embarrassment he was subjected to after the Senate rejected his nomination on account of security reports and sundry allegations. Last week's meeting with Tinubu was a culmination of severe pressures mounted on him by the former governor who had become bored in Beirut, where he had fled after he crashed of his ministerial ambition. But Sanusi agreed to intervene. Another source averred the former emir cautioned the the loquacious ex-governor and advised him to desist from making public comment on controversial issues so as to see if President Tinubu would assist in confirming his ministerial nomination. You made a mistake when you rejected the ministerial nomination and made it public that day. You must keep quiet henceforth and allow me to talk to the president on the matter. Sanusi was quoted to have told remorseful Erufai. A top official of the Progressive Congress APC who pleaded anonymity you know, as he was not permitted to speak to the press, confirmed the meeting and gave further insight on, on behind-the-scenes maneuvering to bust aside all obstacles for the confirmation of the former governor as a minister. When Erufai declared that he was not interested in the ministerial position after the Senate refused to confirm him, the former governor was only playing to the gallery. How could someone reject something and was not given to him? Okay. So here's something that was not given to him. That is it. How could someone reject something that was not given to him? He fought so hard to get it, but in the end, he was rejected. Erufai never believed that he could be treated in such an awful and demeaning manner. As I speak with you, the submission of Erufai's replacement for the ministerial slot has been delayed to pave way for President Tinubu to resubmit his name. The former governor has not given up on his ministerial dream, said the source. The desperation by Erufai to realize his ministerial ambition may not be unconnected with the many questions raised over his administration's handling of the over 300 aban uh, abandoned that was a subject of inquiry by his predecessor, Senator Ubasani. These projects were abandoned after whooping sum of money amounting to billions of naira were paid to contractors for execution. Now, according to another source, conversant with the ploy to submit to submit Erufai's uh, name for ministerial uh, consideration, Kaduna State is broke down and may find it difficult to pay salaries. Can you imagine? It's broke now. So the recent increase in the monthly allocation from the federal government allowing the removal of fuel subsidy has assisted the state for now. Now, if this year in this year alone, the state is expected to pay 35 billion naira for loan repayment and servicing. Where will the state get money to pay salaries after Aero 5 pushed Kaduna State into a big bottomless pit of debt? Can you imagine? What may provide cover for the former uh, for the former governor? For the governor is an appointment into the corridors of power. If he is not appointed as a minister, he may find it impossible to return to the country due to the financial predicament he has thrown Kaduna State into. Can you imagine what is happening in Kaduna State? So apart from all the security allegations that have been put on him, he has also thrown the state into very serious debt and expect the country, I mean, uh, the, the state to survive. Yeah. Let Erufai continue to sing his reggae music. Okay, there are more competent people than him to be minister. He is a religious by God. We have seen his divisive comments in social media. We don't need people like this in Nigeria. We don't even like him that we plunge our country to crisis. Let him go forever. Irrelevant story published by unqualified journalists. Who told you? This is true. Okay, this is true. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment as Sanusi continued to lobby 
for Erufai to be readmitted again as a minister in Nigerian government. They let them keep begging. Let's have your comment in this regard.